Hey, piece of that, Rick. Rick, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Look at this, the, the drovers in. Oh, isn't that a real bumper of a building? Well, I think so. <laughs> There's another one further down, Lus, L-U-S-S. Uh, there we go. Omega, too. Is it Chinese? Okay, right. There's the lock side tour. There's a beautiful, a lovely lock. It really is wonderful. It's pretty, but look at this, you know, with the hills dropping down Ben Lomond in the far distance, you know, it's uh, it's real pretty. Little or no buildings whatsoever. Again, that's uh, completely forbidden. We're kind of on a suspended area. You just look underneath to the left, you see it's like a overhang in the, I've got it supported up. It makes a difference there. Yeah, that used to be a real bad corner, right? It used to be very much this kind of uh, width we have here just directly ahead of us. Beautiful day for Loch Lomond. Oh. Aren't they cold? Yes, they're cold. For sure. There we are, the best in the West. Ah, uh, there's that wee smile again. It's all worthwhile when I see that wee smile. There it is again. Good! Yeah. <laughs> oh, la, la. <laughs> Folks, I would strongly recommend you go on top and go on the outside on this. Eh? It depends which boat we're on, but there's, uh, if you can get on top, please do top of the boat. This is a viaduct on top, folks. No, no aqueduct in in uh, British Isles. It's a viaduct to carry the trains. You're slim like me. That's telling them. I'll sit here. There we go. There's another seat. There's another seat. Which one? That for chicken is one. Yeah, that one's pretty good. The gate is higher up than Loch Lomond. It's also been dammed. Then a tunnel has been drilled two miles through the mountain. And when the national grid needs a boost, normally early morning or early evening, the Lopin sluice gates the top building there, uh, allowing water to run down the four pipes into the large building below where there are four turbines. You can maybe just make them out behind the windows there, the red turbines. So it's clean electricity because no, uh, no water has to be pumped back up. 
we don't really have a shortage of that here. would be a Rob Roy McGregor. He was born in a place called Glengyle, not far from here, and he used to run about this area. That's where the path is. So he had a number of these hiding places round about Loch Lomond. So Rob Roy, he's looked upon as a, a Scottish equivalent to Robin Hood. It's now a large 200 bed hotel owned by the Locks and Glens company, caters for three coaches each evening. There have been a number of well known guests that have stayed here over the years. Queen Victoria and Prince Albert have stayed here. The English poet William Wordsworth, he stayed here. Uh, while staying here, he wrote a poem called Ode to a Sweet Highland Maid. And the Scottish novelist Sir Walter Scott stayed here while he was researching his novel in Rob Roy MacGregor. The River Snade coming into view just to the right of the hotel in the shape of the Arklet Falls. They make it this name because the water comes from a lock arklet that lies a few miles uh, behind the hotel. Well, it just gets better and better. Yeah. I take a picture of it. I'm sailing down this eastern shore just to tell you a bit about the wildlife we have here. In the hills we have deer spray. The osprey return here each year in April and they'll raise one or two chicks over the summer and then they return back to North Africa in the September time. Now ospreys were extinct in Scotland about a hundred years ago but they were reintroduced in the 1950s and now over 250 breeding pairs return back to Scotland each year. So on Loch Lomond there are 22 islands, four of the islands are still inhabited, uh, the largest island is Inchmurrin, Inchmurrin is just over a mile long, situated away down the south west of the loch, and on Inchmurrin We've got a farm, a small hotel, some holiday homes, and it also has Scotland's one and only nudist colony. <laughs> but as I say, it's away down the southwest, we won't be sailing down there today. But if you want to know any more, more about it, just have a word with Ian. I know he's a regular visitor there whenever he can get a chance. <laughs> I'll just take this opportunity to thank you for sailing with us today. 
I do hope you enjoy the rest of your time here in Scotland and have a safe and pleasant onward journey. Thank you very much.